Today I'm going to be making beef fried rice. I'm going to show you the one, the first one is the successful one. It's the way I prefer and how I usually do it. The second one, towards the end of the video, I'm gonna show you the fail. It might actually help you in the kitchen. And quick shout out to my subscribers, viewers, followers. Uh, for those of you that just prayed for my family, well wishes, words of encouragement, I truly appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. Last week was a doozy for people in Texas and several surrounding states, not just Texas. Um, and a lot of people, even though they have power and water back, they are still dealing with the aftermath. But a lot of folks out there had lots of damage and some of them even lost loved ones. I'm going to be donating to several places um, in the greater Houston area. Um, if I get a chance, I'll post the links below. I just really wanted to say thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you to all of you. So anyways, beef fried rice, here we go. Okay, so to start, I'm gonna prep the beef for this recipe. Here I have one New York strip steak. This is a thin cut, and I'm just gonna slice it and cut it into small cubes. You could use the cut of steak of your choice, just be sure that it is a tender cut. So I'm gonna place all of my meat into a bowl and now to marinate it. Here I'm going to use around two teaspoons of oyster sauce. You could opt to use soy sauce in place of the oyster sauce. A quarter teaspoon of white pepper, two teaspoons of Shaoxing cooking wine, and two teaspoons of cornstarch. Give it a mix and let it marinate for 30 minutes at least. I'll also be using two large eggs in this recipe. One egg works as well. Here I have two scallions, the whites of the scallions, a little bit of yellow onion diced. Here are the green tops of scallions. And I have two large cloves of garlic minced and a teaspoon of ginger paste. Now to make the sauce for the rice, here I have three tablespoons of water, to that two teaspoons of dark soy sauce, two teaspoons of Shaoxing cooking wine, a half teaspoon of beef bouillon powder, give it a mix. You can adjust the ratios of the soy sauce and the rest of the ingredients to your taste. Now, I did not have day-old rice, so I made fresh rice and I put it in the freezer in a thin layer on a baking sheet. This will help dry it out and give you more of that restaurant-style fried rice texture. So I added about two cups of cooked rice to my baking sheet. So here in my pan, or my wok, I'm adding two tablespoons of oil. I preheated the pan until you see wisp of smoke over a high heat, and I'm gonna saute the onion first. Now I'm going to add the ginger paste and the garlic. And you don't wanna burn the garlic, so kinda of mix it quickly. Now I'm going to add my marinated beef. And on a high heat setting, I have my burner on the highest heat setting, and you'll want to cook that quickly. And once I've sauteed and cooked that, you can see some caramelization of the onion and some saute charring on the beef, that's perfect. So I'm gonna add the rice. And I did add a little more oil to the pan. And now I'm just going to start frying the rice and mixing it with the beef. Once that has combined and sauteed, I'm gonna push it to the side and add my sauce mixture. I like, I realize I like adding it to the side of the rice first, let it simmer, thicken a little bit, and then start combining it with the rice. That really helps the rice keep a firm texture. It doesn't get mushy that way. Okay, so once that's combined and cooked through, and again, I'm still working with the high heat, a little bit of oil and add your egg to the side. And I'm not going to mix it into the rice. I want it to cook on the side. You probably could cook this in a separate pan. I'm just trying to lessen the, the dirty dishes here. So once it's cooked, then start mixing it into the fried rice. Once that's mixed, I'm going to add the green tops of the scallions, give it a mix. And before I forget, I'm going to drizzle in just a teaspoon, maybe less, of sesame oil just to finish the rice. And I'm going to shut off the heat, give it a mix, and this is beef fried rice. And it's so good. Okay, so now for the fail. 
So I did everything similar to what I did, but instead of adding the sauce, I added the egg first, cooked it, mixed it, and then here's my mistake. I just dumped the sauce all over the rice, mixed it before it had a chance to simmer and kind of reduce, and it just made a super soggy, sticky mess. Now we did eat it because it did taste good, but texturally, it wasn't like this. So that might help you in the kitchen, or maybe you've done that in the past, but I hope this recipe helps you guys. So I hope you give it a try. I hope you like it, and thanks for watching.